Hey gents, happy holidays and we're coming up on Christmas. I promised myself last year I'd get this Christmas guide out before Thanksgiving. It's two weeks earlier than it was last year. So we all, we all improve a little bit each year. But the idea behind this guide is I am told I'm extremely hard to shop for and you might be too. So I'm gonna number, I have 17 gift recommendations in this video. I'm also gonna do a separate video with another 17 gifts under 50. This one is all stuff that I absolutely love and or that I use every single day. And so I'm going to be recommending these things in this video. I also have a gift guide from last year with 70 items with great gift ideas for guys. I'll link to all three of the guides below. I'll also link to every product down there so you can go ahead and jump and grab them. And the idea is that because these are numbered, you can send this video or the gift guide on the website to somebody and say, hey, I like three, 12, and 15, uh, give them some hints on those sorts of things, or just build out your wish list. Uh, either way, hoping to give you some excellent ideas and talk about some of the favorite things that I like and enjoy throughout the year. So let's run down the 17 items here on the gift guide, and number one is the Public Rec Joggers. These joggers are the joggers that change my mind about joggers. I have some Lululemon ABC pants, and I have some of their Kung Fu pants that I really like, but these Public Rec Joggers, with their slim fit premium material, yes, they do come in at $128, but so far, I've worn these constantly. I wear them all the time. They're excellent for around the house and they don't have like the looseness to a normal sweatpant, but they have the stretch and comfort of a sweatpant. And I even feel comfortable wearing these like if I'm gonna be on a train all day. I love to wear these. And so the public rec joggers, I'm really into that is number one. Number two are socks from Boardroom Socks. I always want my socks to be up high onto my calf. Over the calf socks are the way to do that, but not all over the calf socks are created equal. Boardroom Socks has amazing ones in Pima cotton. I also have some of their merino wool ones, which is a ribbed, really lightweight merino wool. Doesn't retain smell, warm, breathable. They're about $15 per pair, which is in line with other premium socks. They're made in North Carolina from a family owned mill and they are excellent. So go ahead and check out boardroom socks. So the boardroom socks are number two. Number three are boxers, briefs, or trunks from Two Under. They have the Joey pouch in here, which I talked about in my underwear video is one of the better designed pouches. I love the performance material that they use on here, the perforated tush and these come in around $26 a pair, so it is premium, but they absolutely last in a great way and deliver some really nice performance. They even have the fly on the front, which is rare in some of these pouches. So two under, that is number three. Number four is the Mac Weldon Long Underwear Tech Cashmere. $98 for a long underwear that can go under your slacks, it can go under if you're skiing, but having this wool cashmere and a little bit of spandex is like, it is it is next level comfort. So yes, the joggers are great, like you go out and you wear those, but long underwear under a pair of slacks, like the comfort level is insane. Having your entire lower half and upper half covered in cashmere is like next level stuff. And so I love all the stuff that Mack Weldon does. I'll recommend their stuff in the under 50 gift guide as well, but tech cashmere, check that out. And speaking of cashmere, number five is the Everlane cashmere hoodie at $160. This is, it is luxury, but not too much. Everlane has extremely good cashmere at extremely good prices. Previously, if you wanted a hoodie like this, you were looking at almost double the price. And the fact that you can take a style you're already really comfortable with, which is the hoodie style, but then give it that cashmere for the warmth, the comfort, the softness is so good. So check out Everlane's cashmere hoodie for a way to elevate your comfort and your style overall. Number six is a pair of drivers, and I just did a video on Todd's Mox Alternatives. To me, M. Jemmy is one of the best ones you can go with. I have their suede version, but they also have the Brolio, which is a brown leather, and I think it's excellent. For me, 2017, 2018 is when I really embraced loafers, and then this year, I've been wearing drivers a whole lot, and I really like them. They're an excellent casual shoe. Don't really try to dress them up, but if you want something to elevate, like if you want to go a little bit better than some sneakers, I think drivers are a really great classic looking way to up your style game. So those are the M. Jemmy driving loafers. Number seven is an umbrella that I would label classy AF. I get so many compliments on this umbrella and this is from Seward and Lau. They did a collaboration with Fox Umbrellas, which is like a heritage umbrella maker. It is $80, so it's not totally insane, but this is one of those things that like constant compliments on it. 
and it is something that I have cheaper umbrellas, and this one just performs better. I'll just put it, I know, I'm not really supposed to do that inside, but like, it looks good open, it looks good closed. You put this on your bag, it's like a gentleman, like a proper gentleman's umbrella. It is not completely compact. I have a very compact one that I keep in my briefcase, but I love having this going out. I feel confident that I'm gonna be covered, and it just looks so good too. They no longer have this style, this bamboo style of handle. The one they have listed right now is a maple crook handle, so umbrellas, just like every other category. If you haven't had something like really nicely made and, and truly purpose-built for this, definitely check out a beautiful umbrella. Uh, and this one is a great one from Stuart and Lau. And to hold that umbrella in the cold weather, I'm bringing back my, my favorite, something I wear almost every single day in the winter. These are the gloves from Fort Belvedere. These are cashmere lined Napa glove leather from Fort Belvedere. They are pricey, but they are worth every penny because they are also touchscreen gloves. And you can see that I've had these now for a year and a half, almost two years, and they just, they wear really well. They're comfortable. They are offered in many different sizes, which is really key get something that fits your hand, like they even have half size, but you can measure from your finger down to your palm and that'll give you the right size. So having like a really nice fitting pair of gloves that's also touchscreen activated that will keep you warm, it makes you want to go outside. Like because I have nice jackets now and nice gloves, I'm excited to go outside. And even if it's raining, I got the umbrella. They have other colors and styles on the site, so go ahead and check out Fort Belvedere and uh, you know, Gentleman's Gazette, great channel on YouTube. And so that is number eight. Number nine, let's move into a product Activity. I opened this up a couple of months ago. This is the James Clear Baron Fig Bullet Journal, and it has absolutely changed my productivity. I could be a more structured person, clearly. I could have had this video done on time, but bullet journaling, in particular, some of the methods that are outlined in the journal are really have been very powerful for my productivity. And I talked about in that video between this and the Squire pen, which I use in line with this, having tools that are serious help you be more serious about the work you're doing. And so this is the large version. I really like having the big one. Uh, I think it's $28 for the journal, 55 for the Squire pen, and like, it's, it's just great to have nice tools. So that is the Baron Fig Clear Journal, highly recommended, and that is number nine. Number 10, we have a slim wallet from Anson Calder, and I love having a reason or a, uh, an excuse not to carry around too many cards, and a really thoughtfully designed wallet is a great excuse for that. So I have two cards in the front, two cards in the back, and then there's actually like a cash pocket in here where you can open it up a little bit and either put some cash in or fit extra cards. And Anson Calder has a wide range. They have beautiful like French calf leathers in different colors. They also have monogramming available on there. And so if you're looking to either slim down your wallet, upgrade your wallet, or they, I believe they even also have some RFID models in there. Anson Calder is a very cool brand to check out. Highly recommended from Brock at The Modest Man, who I trust with every recommendation. So that is Anson Calder. Here you got the access right here, very, Look at that, there you go. Sticking with the EDC theme, I think every guy should have a very nice knife. And if you're ready to go into like the upper echelon of great EDC knives, check out Benchmade. You're looking at over $100, sometimes around 200 for a knife, but some of the best materials and craftsmanship out there in knives. So Benchmade has some amazing stuff. You can definitely go way up in price, but I think if you've had a couple of great little like Gerber knives or some starter knives, if you're looking to get into the really nice knife space, Benchmade is really the place to look for for high quality stuff. So that is number 11. And as we're talking about blades, let's go to number 12, which is the Leaf Shaving Starter Kit. So here for $109, you will basically get enough gear to shave for like two years or something, something crazy. Because the idea with Leaf Shave is you essentially build your own razor. So this head here, I have a whole video on it, you, you can look at it, but you can put in one, two, or three blades in here, but they use the straight razor blades you can buy in bulk for like 10 bucks for a whole lot of them. And so they have the beautiful, really nicely made handle. The stand comes in the starter kit. They also have the twig razor, which is perfect for edges. So if you wanna do sideburns, right under the nose, that type of thing. I've been using Leaf Shave this year. I did a video on it earlier this year and really impressed with it. So go ahead and check out Leaf Shave and definitely grab that whole like starter kit. You're gonna be set for a while. Sticking with the theme of Sharp, I am an Eagle Scout and I love outdoors and camping. I wanted to recommend the Bare Bones Axe. It is not just a beautiful piece of hardware, but it's well-made functional and at $142, this is the same idea as the Benchmade stuff where you might've had starter axes, you got them at the hardware store 
or at Lowe's or something, but if you want to go into like craftsmanship, that's where you can look at the bare bones axe. That is number 13. And number 14 is a pickup from Dapper Woodworks. And now this is one of those things that you do have to order very soon because they're all handmade, but Dapper Woodworks makes incredible products for guys that are into style. So people that watch this channel, you can get a tie rack from them, which has pegs where you can hang your ties in a beautiful way. You can get the wood customized to the finish that you like. I have their pocket square holder with a shelf on top, which is one of my favorite things in the studio. They also have coat hooks for $30, which is going to be in my under $50 gift guide. And so Dapper Woodworks, just a cool guy making amazing products and like really high quality hardwoods and thoughtful designs for us guys that care about all aspects of our appearance, so that is Dapper Woodworks. And number 15, we have my favorite soap from Duke Cannon. This is the size of the bar of soap. It is a huge bar of soap. It lasts forever, it smells amazing. Yeah, this is good. I also did a video where I talked about their deodorant, which I really like. It was my first paraben-free, aluminum-free deodorant this year that actually worked. It smells amazing. I love the smell of their soap. They have different versions, different models. I think it's $9 for this giant uh, block of soap and it just lasts for a while. It's also a great mission behind the company. They donate a lot to veterans. It's a brand with a great mission, a great aesthetic, a little bit of humor to it and I highly recommend Duke Cannon, one of my favorite grooming products of the entire year. And while you are looking to smell better, you can also look better. This is the Ollie kit. Ollie sells an entire year for $99 of this stuff. You can buy it monthly and, and they'll ship it to you every month, but they have a transformation kit and then a maintenance kit. I now have two years worth of the Ollie stuff and I do use it every week. It has absolutely helped my smile, but the big thing with this, and I talked about it in my individual video on it, is I've used Crest White Strips in the past, but because my teeth are very sensitive, I couldn't keep up with those. And this is the first whitener that really was able to give me effective results, but then also not hurt my teeth uh, because they are, I'm, I'm a sensitive guy, what can I say? And so Ollie, if you want to improve your smile a little bit, it's great value for what you're getting, especially when you compare to something like the Crest 3D white strips or other options out there. So that is Ollie, I'll link to that below at number 16. And number 17, uh, a little bit out of left field, but you need to check out this Pizza Steel. It's $89 from Amazon, but it is one of the coolest like little products that you will add to your kitchen. It makes incredible pizza, whether you're making fresh dough or you can just reheat pizza within there. But the Pizza Steel, it's just a solid piece of made in the USA steel that you can also then use as a skillet. So you can make like incredible eggs, you can make French toast on there. And it's just a really cool piece of kit for your kitchen that once you get it, you're gonna be like, what what other high quality kitchen gadgets can I get? Because this is such a cool little thing. You can get uh, standard ones, bigger ones, uh, anything like that, but I'll link to the Pizza Steel over on Amazon. It's a really easy pickup and something that you will use for a very long time. It's just a cool product. And so, so those are some of my favorite things, the gifts I recommend and hope that uh, they can add as much joy to your life as they did to mine. A lot of this stuff is higher priced, but it's around the idea that you buy less stuff, but you buy nicer stuff and it lasts longer. And uh, that's really the mantra of the whole channel. So I wish you an excellent holiday, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, and everything in between. If there's stuff that should be on my Christmas list, let me know down in the comments and also at the underscore Cavalier on Twitter and Instagram. I'll link to the other gift guides, so make sure you check those out if you're looking for some more inspiration for the guys in your life. And until next time, gents, this is the Cavalier. I happen to like New York. I happen to like this.